Guys, hello and welcome back to another Instant Pot recipe video where today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a whole cauliflower in the Instant Pot. I know what you're thinking. No one in my family likes cauliflower. It's bland and it's bleh. No one likes it. Well, that's unfortunate. And it's probably because you're doing it wrong. No offense, but it's time to introduce some flavors into the cauliflower. It's time to make cauliflower exciting. But why, you might be asking yourself. Well, I'm glad you asked. Cauliflower is high in vitamin C, it's a great source of fiber, and it's also high in antioxidants. All great reasons why you and your family should be enjoying cauliflower on a regular basis. Bring it in to your weekly dinner regimen, people, guys, ladies, gentlemen. Let's learn how to make whole cauliflower in the Instant Pot. We begin with the ingredients, which I laid out very carefully for your viewing pleasure. They include garlic, thyme, broth or water, lemon, parsley, cauliflower, oregano, onion powder, and smoked paprika. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove all of the green leafy stem parts from the bottom of the cauliflower. Once those are removed, you can go ahead and lop off the stem as well. Now you're gonna take your steaming basket and place it inside the Instant Pot and place the cauliflower on top of the steaming basket. Next, pour one and a half cups of broth over your cauliflower, as well as the juice of half a lemon. Now for our aromatics, we're going to add about five or six sprigs of thyme, along with five cloves of garlic cut in half. Next, we're going to add a teaspoon of onion powder, followed by a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and approximately one tablespoon of oregano. Go ahead and place the cover onto your Instant Pot and set the release valve to sealing. Now we're gonna cook this on high pressure for 10 minutes. Once your 10 minutes is up, you're going to immediately release the pressure manually. Go ahead and remove the cover of your Instant Pot and from here you have two choices. You can eat it as is because it's ready to go and it will be delicious. However, we're gonna take it one step further and bump your cauliflower up to the pro chef level. We're gonna cover it with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're gonna to toss it in the oven under broil for eight to 10 minutes. Now while this is in the oven, that would be a good time to rescue your cauliflower nectar. That is the juice at the bottom of the Instant Pot which we're going to use to serve once the cauliflower is officially finished. Doesn't that look good? Now your cauliflower is ready to come out of the oven after approximately eight to 10 minutes and it looks stunning. A little bit of char on the top, it is absolutely going to blow your mind. Now we're gonna take our cauliflower nectar, pour it over the top, which I am serving here with a little bit of pork and boom. Guys, that's how easy it is to make whole cauliflower using the Instant Pot. I hope you found this video useful and as always, I encourage you to add your own spices and make this recipe your own. In the description box below, I will put a series of links, one of which being a link to where you can buy this, which is the silicone seal that goes underneath the top cover of the Instant Pot. It helps to make everything smell and taste delicious as opposed to everything smelling and tasting the same. I've said this before in previous videos, so I'm not gonna beat a dead horse, but I encourage you, check out the link in the description below. And as always, keep busy, stay healthy, be happy, and I will see you in the next one.